Hello and welcome to KD Tech. On today's program, we are reviewing the Gene Sharp P45 LGA 771 and 775 motherboard. testing the Jing Sha P45 LGA 771 and the 775 motherboard. The motherboard comes with four DDR2 sockets supporting up to 16 gigabytes of DDR2 rep memory. The packaging is okay for a eBay purchase type motherboard. Um, there's very little, very little English to explain what you actually get with a P45 motherboard. However, upon opening the box, you do have a piece of thick card over the top to act as a form of protection. And you also get the I/O shield, which is actually quite surprising for a cheap foreign, foreign-made motherboard. You also get a single safety cable included in the box as well. The board itself is wrapped in a sealed anti-static bag to help keep the board safe. Features of the G-Sharp E45 motherboard. You get a USB 3.0 header, from panel audio header, from having USB 1.0, you get four SATA connection points. You also get one PCIe 16x slot, one PCI slot, standard 24 pin ATX power supply socket, standard 4 pin CPU socket. You also get one CPU fan header and one onboard speaker header. As far as IO is concerned, you get one PS2 keyboard and one PS2 mouse support. You also get included with one serial port as well as four USB 1.0 sockets. You also get one gigabit ethernet port and the standard three sound ports. All in all, a very, very, very modest I.O. As for the CPU, the CPU does come covered with a socket protector, which is nice from a, an eBay listed Chinese seller. The CPU socket itself is actually changeable. So that means you can have it in 771 configuration or in 775 configuration. This is accomplished by the use of a pair of jumper connectors. There are four pins and it is currently set up in the 775 configuration. However, if you want to have it in the 771 configuration, you need to connect pins 1 and 3 together, as well as, as, well as connecting pins 2 and 4 together, which will give you the 771 configuration. If you want, as this one is, the 775 configuration, you need to connect together pins 1 and 2, and then connect 3 and 4 together. This thing, this gives you the option, options for multiple different, for multiple CPUs. My final thoughts on the Jingsha P45 board. Um, upon opening and testing the board, it tested fine. Uh, the only downside was the CMOS battery was actually dead. Uh, leading me to think that this was sat on the, sat on the uh, dis distribution shelf for quite a while. Uh, but all the other components looked well soldered and all looked to be in new or fairly good quality components and condition. Uh, there was no leaky capacitors and there was no dust in it and it was still sealed inside the anti-static bag. However, the IO shield definitely wasn't a custom made one for that specific IO of the board. Uh, as you have to physically break out of all the uh, covers for the specific connections that you have on your board. Um, um, yeah, what it, did, it did feel a bit cheap, but you know, you get what you pay for. Yeah, in, conclu in conclusion to this, I did actually, I have actually bought this myself, and it did cost me thirty-five pounds. Um, and I was buying it to make to make use with a Xeon W seven seven five CPU. For testing as a workstation and gaming center, which will come in a later video. However, I did find it was very limited, purely and simply to the fact it can only use DDR2 memory. Uh, as mentioned, the video of the build for the testing will be uploaded within the 
next week or two. Um, so yeah. Oh, stay tuned because later on in the month we have got a new series, a new video series starting soon. I've been down to my local car boot, braved the wind and well, wind and rain this week, and bought an old Fujitsu Siemens computer. At least I think it's a Fujitsu Siemens. Um, what I'm going to be doing is giving this a a budget sleeper build style video series. So that'll be coming up very soon. Thank you for watching KD Tech and please don't forget if you do like the video, please do leave a thumbs up, you know, share it amongst your friends and family. And any support helps, you know, subscribe. There's definitely more to come. Thanks for watching. See you later.